iPhone production in India will hit 25% of global output by 2025, says analyst. Shout out India, shout out everybody in this community that's in India. Apple's CEO Tim Cook is presuming a very bright future for his company in India. Do you know why? Why is Apple investing big in making iPhones in India? In this video, we will answer this question. Keep watching. When we think of this bitten Apple symbol, the first thing which comes to anyone's mind is their smartphone, popularly called the iPhone. The rate of growth of iPhone users in the Indian market was quite interesting. India surpassed Germany and France in iPhone sales in the June quarter of this year, falling behind the United Kingdom, Japan, China and the United States. So Tim Cook's first trip to India in seven years was not just a trip, and many people may be wondering, OK, why is he going to India? This tells us that they see some real information showing that the Indian consumer is willing to spend money on Apple products if they establish two retail outlets within 48 hours of one another. Apple products are costly, everybody knows that, and the Indian economy is not even comparable to other Apple user countries like the USA or Canada. But why is India using this brand even though it seems like a luxury? This is a trend we have seen only with this brand. They only want an Apple iPhone. An experienced smartphone retailer shared his experience. Furthermore, owning an iPhone or an iPad is considered prestigious in countries such as India. This demonstrates the elevated status in society as well. Coming to the truth behind how people could afford this brand, it is quite different. According to a Mumbai-based smartphone store with choices like BNPL, no-cost EMI and credit card perks, the thirst for iPhones is only growing, and with flat discounts commencing at Rs 2000, people will surely fall for these offers. The need for a better smartphone experience knows no limitations, as evidenced by the demand for fine print. According to research agency, India contributed to about 4% of all iPhone sales in the second quarter. The company was unable to provide a precise quantity of iPhone sales, but stated that they increased by 50% year over year. In the six months to the end of June, Apple held a 5.1% share of India's entire smartphone market, up from 3.4% in the same period last year. So Apple cannot help but start their production in this Commonwealth country for better sales. The significant increase in India comes as Apple expands its sales force and manufacturing footprint in the world's fifth largest economy. Apple built its first retail outlets in India in April, in Delhi, the capital, and Mumbai, the most populated city. Cupertino announced the news with a magnificent display outside its forthcoming Delhi store. The 22,000 square foot flagship store will be located in Reliance Industries' Geo World Drive Mall. Meanwhile, the Delhi store in Select City Walk Mall in Sackett would cover 10,000 square feet. Both stores contain classrooms, conference rooms, new screens and hardware, and Genius Groves, a tree-lined area where the Genius Bar used to be. Furthermore, both locations will provide interesting classes taught by creative specialists such as photographers. Production of the iPhone is another interesting and hand-picked procedure that we would like to share here iPhone's revenue eclipses that of the iMac, iPad and other goods and services combined. Because the supply chain is so diverse, iPhones are built in a complex manner. Apple creates the complete product in-house, yet it does not own a manufacturing plant. For example, the semiconductors that power iPhones are manufactured in Taiwan by TSMC, the world's largest outsourced chip maker iPhone screens could originate from a variety of sources in Japan and South Korea. In the simplest terms, it takes manufacturing bases in multiple nations to make a single iPhone. Foxconn, Pegatron and Wistron are three major Taiwanese manufacturers of iPhones. As friction between Washington and Beijing rose, Apple felt vulnerable and started looking into methods to move production outside of China. Over the last year, Apple's veteran iPhone partners have rapidly expanded their assembly processes. Last year, Apple suffered from the turmoil at Foxconn's core iPhone city complex in Zhengzhou. This highlighted flaws in Apple's supply chain and forced the company to reduce output projections. It successfully advocated for benefits in India and persuaded suppliers Foxconn, Wilstron Corp and Pegatron to increase their presence there. The Trimuvrite, which employs over 60,000 people in India, manufactures models ranging from the aging iPhone 11 to the most recent iPhone 14. And Foxconn intends to invest $700 million in a plant in a southern state to manufacture phone models and possibly iPhones. Analysts predict that it will take years of investment to disentangle China's complex, productive and skilled supply chain from semiconductors to hardware to assembly. Since 2017, Apple has been producing older iPhone models in India. However, just a small percentage of iPhones are manufactured there. In 2022, India produced only approximately 3.5% of the world's iPhones. 
India manufactured more than 6.5 million of the 200 million iPhones manufactured worldwide. India hopes that its factories will one day produce 25% of the world's iPhones. The corporation could achieve this aim by 2025, as per some analysis. Last year, Apple began manufacturing the premium iPhone 14 in India. This was the first time the corporation produced its most recent products in the country so soon after its first release. Currently, India produces only about 5-7% of all iPhones sold worldwide. For a long time, the low-cost Android handsets manufactured by Chinese players such as Xiaomi and Apple's arch-rival Samsung have been ruling the Indian smartphone market. However, there has been an increase in the premium smartphone segment. Smartphones priced beyond $400 currently account for 10% of total cell phone shipments up from 4% prior to the COVID-19 outbreak. Apple's success in India has been a result of the company's overall strategy, focusing on distribution and affordability, according to experts. Analysts are optimistic about Apple's potential in India. Apple might be accountable for 15% of Apple's growth in revenue over the next five years. Analysts at the investment bank predict that sales growth in India will reach $40 billion over the next 10 years. Let's have a good look at India's smartphone market recently. According to International Data Corporation IDC, India's smartphone market ended in 2022 with 144 million shipments, the lowest since 2019. Apple traded 2 million iPhones in India during the holiday quarter Q4 2022, representing an 18% increase for its flagship smartphone. In 2021, Apple iPhones had grown by 48% year-on-year, with 4.4% of the market in the country. The iPhone 14 series accounted for 59% of the market in Q4 2022, which was followed by the iPhone 13 series, which grew by 32%. Apple sold an additional 0.2 million iPads in India in the fourth quarter, with the iPad Pro 2022 series seeing a 30% increase. Apple presently controls approximately 5% of the country's smartphone market. This is not just about the company's benefits. India is also interested in attracting international investment. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched the Make an India initiative when he took charge in 2014. The campaign's goal is to promote India as an international hub for manufacturing and to entice foreign investment in fresh industries. Apple's partner, Foxconn, which just announced a $500 million investment in setting up production operations in India, has also received tax breaks. Tesla's head, Elon Musk, said he really cares about India because he's pushing us to make significant investments in India, which we intend to do. He wants to be open. He wants to be supportive of new companies, obviously. But at the same time, make sure it accrues to India's advantage, which is obviously that's the job. Tim Cook is finding this a huge opportunity too. It was an incredible discussion and a great state visit, I'd say. Well, you know, we opened two stores there when I was over there and we'll see, but I think it's a huge opportunity. Will it be an easy job for India to increase Apple's sales this year? What could be the challenges? Let's see if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to comment down your thoughts below. See you soon. Bye.